Hello, this is Gio. Hey, look what I have here. I have a pair of glasses and the nose pad on one side just fell off. And we're going to replace this today. Now looking closer at the nose pad that fell off, now you can kind of see where it connected to the glasses here. So this is the pad side right here. And then in back, uh, you can kind of see a little metal part right here and kind of a U-shape right there. Well, that U-shape should have been round. So there should have been a round hole here where a screw inserted in. But uh, over time, it kind of, uh, kind of just degraded and eventually broke off. Now, some nose pads uh, also have kind of more of a silicon type ring, a, a rubber type ring, which uh, are even more prone to breaking. But this one kind of had a, a metallic ring but eventually it just broke off and needs to be replaced. Now looking at the glasses, you can kind of see where uh, on the side where it fell off, you can kind of see a screw right here and we'll need to remove that screw. If you look on the other side, uh, you can see a screw right there and when you remove the screw, you're we will see a little ring that is attached to the nose pad and it's the screw that holds the nose pad in place and because uh, that little ring on the nose pad broke off, that screw no can no longer hold the nose pad in place. Now your first thought may be, well, I'll just need to glue this back on. And I, I've all already kind of tried to kind of place this in place. And for this one, it actually kind of holds temporarily. I mean, it will knock off, but uh, I was thinking, well, you could just glue it, maybe grab some super glue and glue it in place. But that's not the best way to do it because this is very fixable. And once you place glue like super glue in, you're gonna clog up this entire bit. It won't really hold that long. It'll eventually break off and then you'll uh, eventually need to clean the glue off. Now, uh, these pads, if they fall off, doesn't mean that you need to replace your glasses. You just, you could just reorder some of these pads and I'll show you uh, what I ordered in right now. So I just went on Amazon and looked for nose pads, glasses, nose pads, and I came across these. There are a variety that you can order, but these had about this right shape that I was looking for and it had the rings. Now I did find them with the little more rubber rings uh, that I mentioned before, and those are typically cheaper, but again, uh, I've, I've experienced those aren't, don't hold as, uh, those don't hold or last as long. They tend to break off and they don't allow you to kind of move them back and forth as easily since they're more rubber, the, um, the screw kind of holds them in more firmly. And so you don't really get that rocking motion if you want that rocking motion on your nose pad. And so I bought this one. This was one uh, was only, this whole kit was about $7. Uh, you can uh, get cheaper ones, maybe $5, but they go up to $10, etc. But this one seemed to have, this one has a little cleaning pad here. It has, I'm not quite sure what these things are. We could figure that out. It looks like it has some tweezers, which could be helpful. Um, and it has a number of nose pads. Some of them are silvery color like that and some of them are the clear color like that. And you can see uh, that these ones, even though they're clear, they have more of a metallic uh, hoop right here rather than the rubber hoop. So uh, these will be a little bit stronger. And so I kind of wanted, my original ones are kind of yellowed, uh, but originally they were clear. And so I just want to match a couple of them. I think they're all basically the same shape. I just kind of want to match them and, and these will work out. These are slightly bigger, but once I get them in, they'll work fine. And this kit also comes with a variety uh, or a number of screws, which are very helpful if you lost screws for your glasses when uh, your nose pad fell off. Uh, these uh, give you brand new screws and also a little kit screwdriver. You can see it's just a little screwdriver. Uh, I do have a little mini screwdriver myself but uh, this can come in very handy. Let's see what's on this side. And this is a Phillips screwdriver. So this is a very handy kit. Now, like I said, only one nose pad fell off, but I'm gonna replace both of them because the shape of the replacement pads are just slightly different. 
Um, and plus, uh, you know, I, the kit came with more than, than one pad, and so I might as well replace both of them. Plus, this one is probably aging and may eventually fall off as well. And you can see it's also yellowed. So when I replace, you know, one with a clear one, you'll definitely see the difference. So I'll just replace both of them. So I'm just going to take the screwdriver that came with the kit to remove uh, the screw on the side that the pad fell off on and remove the screw here and that will remove the uh, remaining pad. So just carefully and if these are really small screws so if you have trouble seeing uh, these screws you may need to get uh, maybe some younger eyes you know I'm kind of struggling a little bit but I think I could get these things off. Um, again, very small screws. And that's the first screw. And then to remove the other screw which holds the remaining pad in place. And with that screw removed, the pad should just come out. And you can see the difference between the two pads. One has a little uh, you know, hole in it, the other one broke off. Now the side where the pad broke off, remember there could be that little piece that still remains inside this little hole here. So I'm just gonna use a toothpick to see if I can probe that out of here and clean it out. Try to get it out of here. It doesn't, I don't feel anything in there, so it must have fallen off before I actually took the screw out. So uh, we're good to go there, but you, you can kind of see it's a little dirty in there. I think I'll just use a um, maybe some isopropyl alcohol and clean out these little holes because a lot of uh, oils and debris can get stuck in here and you might as well just clean it out now while you have the chance. And actually, I didn't see it at first, but when I was cleaning these little uh, holes, I did find a little piece that broke off, and you can kind of see it at the tip of the, uh, not sure if you can see that, but that's the little piece that I kind of had to dig out of this little end, and this uh, just disposed that. So the next decision you have to make is whether you're going to use the original screws if you still have those and in my case I still have the original two screws or if you're going to use some of the replacement screws. You can see in this case the re replacement screws are a little longer and they might, have been, they might look a little thinner. Uh, there are uh, sometimes with these kits uh, there's a variety of sizes of screws but these look like they're all kind of uniform so I'm not exactly sure if I want to use these. Um, they may not fit the holes as well, but since I have the original screws here, I think I'll just reuse those original screws and save these for a different time. Okay, so it's time for the new pads. Now, uh, these particular pads don't really have a right or left. They pretty much look the same either way, so I don't think directionality will be an issue. Um, and you just want to gently and carefully kind of fit it in and yes indeed it fits in the slot it's meant to go in. And now this might be the hardest part of the process that's why they give you little tweezers. You want to try to get these little tiny screws in this hole. Try to fit it in there it's kind of just standing there real gently and then And then just carefully try to get these screws in and tighten them up. And then with the first one in, just do it again to the other side. And there you go. Both nose pads are properly installed in your glasses. Well, I hope this video helped you out, and if it did, please hit that like button at the bottom of the screen, and even consider subscribing to my channel. I have many more videos to come. Bye-bye.